welcome back to my garden in York. Now, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You do not need to go very far to see amazing wildlife. Today, for example, I was just about to put my hat on to come out into the garden when I saw something interesting inside. It's very tiny, so I've got a picture of it here. Do you know what it is? Very, very tiny. It's a ladybird larva. A ladybird larva. And the other day, I went out of the back door, crawling up the wall, were two ladybird larvae and one that was pupating. So ladybirds have the same life cycle as butterflies. They start off as eggs, then they hatch into larvae, just like the equivalent of caterpillars. Then they pupate, and then they turn into beautiful, shiny, flying ladybirds. And I've often asked myself, I've often wondered, when they're little larvae, scrunching around the place like this do they have any idea do they know do they have any inkling that one day they'll be able to fly what do you think do they know do they not know i wrote this poem about that i decided that they didn't know at all here's the poem i wish i could fly i wish i could fly i wish i could fly away home a dream at night of a world of flight. I wish I could fly away home. I wish I had wings. I wish I had wings. I wish I had tough colored wings. I dream at night that I'm shiny and bright. I wish I had tough colored wings. But I haven't. I'm squidgy and long with legs either side. I'm all wrong. I'm not, I'm not polished and twinkly. I'm drab and all crinkly. The ground must be where I belong. But I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly high up into the sky. I dream all night that I've mastered flight. Oh, to kiss the ground goodbye. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Ladybird Lovey know they're going to be able to fly or not? And what about you? Imagine if you went to sleep tonight and you pupated for a week and next week you woke up with a completely different body. What sort of body would you like to have? Would you like to have wings? Would you like to have a propeller? Would you like to be able to... Br I don't know. You tell me. What sort of body would you like to have if you could pupate tonight and wake up in a week's time? That ladybird poem I just performed for you is from my award-winning book, Buzzing. Discover the poetry in Garden Mini Beasts. And here is the poem as it appears in that book, in case you'd like to perform it for yourself. And if you do, I'd love to see your video or hear your audio. You'll see I imagined this ladybird larva wishing it had tough coloured wings, but actually the tough coloured bits with spots on that we see on an adult ladybird, they aren't its wings at all. They're its wing cases. They're called the elytra. And these wing cases protect the more delicate wings that sit underneath. And here are some more ladybird facts, the ones that accompany this ladybird larva poem in my buzzing book. As you'll see, I decided to write this poem about a seven-spot ladybird larva, but there are lots of different ladybird larvae you might be seeing where you are. There are 47 members of the Coccinellidae family in the UK, and 27 of them are recognisably ladybirdy. So that makes lots of different ladybird larvae to look out for. And June and July are peak times for seeing ladybird larvae, so why not go out and see how many different species you can find? The ladybird larva I saw in my hat was a two-spot ladybird larva. Well, it might have been a ten-spot ladybird larva, as the two-spot and ten-spot larvae look very similar and are tricky to tell apart, but as we have two-spot adult ladybirds in our garden here in York, and I've never seen a ten-spot here, I think the chances are it was the larva of a two-spot ladybird. A seven-spot ladybird larva is more easy to identify. It's got eight spots. Can you see? It's got two sets of two spots on either side. So that makes eight spots altogether on a seven-spot ladybird larva. Another common ladybird larva you might see, and there are loads of them here at the moment, is the harlequin ladybird larva. It's very spiky. Can you see how spiky it is? That's the harlequin ladybird larva. We have harlequin ladybird larvae on our bushes at the moment and they're crawling up the wall of our house and they're even crawling around our back door. 
so why not just pop outside and see if you've got Harlequin ladybird larvae on the outside of your house, or maybe on a nearby flower bed or tree. You might notice that the ladybird larvae you find are different sizes, and that's because ladybird larvae go through four stages, four instars. Each instar is a little bit bigger, and its markings are a tad clearer. So although you might see some ladybird larvae and think they're completely different species from one another, they may actually be different instars of the same ladybird species, just at different stages of development. Different species of ladybird larva like being on different plants, which means you might find different species on different types of tree, on different bushes, different flowers, and even, I suppose, in different hats. So it's worth looking for them in different places to see how many different species you can find. And when you do come across some ladybird larvae, the UK Ladybird Survey would love to know what you've found. I'll leave a link to the UK Ladybird Survey in this video description so you can make your way there and record your findings. Now then, I'm going to leave you with one of my favourite ladybird larvae. I wonder if you can guess what colour adult ladybird it will turn into after it's pupated. What colour do you think its spots will be? And how many spots do you think it will have? Mm -hmm, a little quiz for you. There's a poem about this ladybird once it's an adult in my buzzing book. In fact, there's a whole chapter of poems about ladybirds in my book. But if you haven't got a copy of the book to hand, I've performed another of the ladybird poems from it for you earlier in this series of Lockdown Nature videos. It's the video about an avid aphid eater. I'm a very avid aphid eater that I performed back in April. You should be able to find it somewhere near this video. Well, no, that's all from me today about ladybird larvae. But for more of my learning through laughter, rhythm and rhyme nature videos about the mini beasts and birds you might be seeing where you are right now, go to my website, thebigbuzz.biz and click on Stuck at Home Resources. So I wish you happy ladybird lava hunting and recording wherever you may find yourself right now. And I'll see you again soon for another learning through laughter, rhythm and rhyme nature video. Bye.